Okay, in this video I just wanted to do another, um, a little more practice with implicit. So let's, uh, let's just look. Uh, first of all, to find the derivative, okay? So we're going to have 2x minus. Uh, when I see product rule, I like to put that in parentheses just so I don't forget the subtraction in front of it, okay? So first times derivative of the second plus second times derivative of the first. Don't forget the derivative of your, of your constant is zero. Let me move some things over here. Think about factoring in the interest of space here, and we've done this before. Think about factoring the dy dx out and dividing. So in the end, my derivative is that. Okay. Now, finding the equation of the tangent line when x is equal to 1. So we have to go back to the original, and we're going to plug 1 in. Okay, maybe I might even do that right under here. Okay, let's just plug 1 in. So we got 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times y. Okay, I like to get everything on the same side, so let me just kind of go down here. Uh, I'd have 3y squared minus 2y minus 1 equals 0. I can factor this to be 3y, y, I just have to decide where the, I know these are 1's, I just have to decide where they go, I think that's a, goes in that order, let's just check, 3y times y is 3y squared, 3y times negative 1 is negative 3y, plus y is negative 2y, and negative 1, it's perfect. So I have two points, uh, x is 1, and y is negative one-third, and x is one, and y is one. Okay, so going back here, if I plug in uh, one and negative one-third, uh, two times negative one-third minus two, uh, and then negative two times one plus six times negative one-third, uh, I believe if you type all that in, we get two-thirds as our slope. So the line here would be y equals two-thirds x minus one minus one-third. Okay. And for the other line, if I plug in one, one, well, two times one minus two times one is zero. And the bottom is four, so zero over four is zero. So this line is zero. Like that. Okay, so we have two tangent lines. All right, now horizontal tangents. Well, horizontal tangents, remember, occur where the derivative is zero. And more specifically for us, it's where the numerator would be zero. So 2y minus 2x equals zero. So that means 2y is equal to 2x. So that means that y is equal to x. Now, we have found one such spot where that's true already. The point 1, 1 was a horizontal tangent because the slope was 0 here. But what we need to be careful of is that every time y equals x, you know, that there's an infinite number of values there. 1, 1, 0, 0, 2, 2, 500, 500, negative 1,000, negative 1,000. This is true, this will be a horizontal tangent when this holds true in the original equation. So we need to take our original and bring it down and use that y equals x to see where does that hold true in the original. So what I'm going to do here is every time I see a y, I'm going to change it to an x since they're equal. I'm going to use that equality. So like that. Again, 
The reason we have to do that is because this is stating a general kind of rule that's in the original function, when y is equal to x, we'll have a horizontal tangent. So we need to go back to the original function and figure out when does y equal x. When is that true? So we've got x squared minus 2x squared plus 3x squared, which means that 2x squared equals 2. So x squared is equal to 1. So x is plus or minus 1. Now, again, we'd already found, you know, one of these answers, the point 1, 1. But now we find another, because when x is negative 1, of course, y is negative 1. So both of these spots will have horizontal tangents on the original graph. Now, the AP exam sometimes asks this in a little bit different way, and it says, you know, verify that there aren't any horizontal tangents. And how I would go about that is I would still set this relationship up, but then what will happen if there aren't horizontal tangents is when you plug y equals x back into your original you'll get some statement that couldn't be true for example maybe everything on the left side cancels out and you have 0 equals 2 so what you say there is well I found out horizontal tangents occur when y equals x but when I went to the original equation y could never be x because I got an untrue statement so Sometimes the AP exam is asked that in a way that, that you actually use this uh, idea that the derivative is really just saying where, kind of in general, where is this going to occur and using the original function. Sometimes they use it not to find points, but to verify that the points won't exist.